year, new beginnings. And for Elon Musk, new ideas for what Twitter will be in 2023. The tech billionaire rocked Silicon Valley when he took over Twitter in October. After mass layoffs, abrupt policy changes, and the reinstatement of controversial users, many are wondering what could possibly be next. What we see right now, I think, is a deep questioning of what is the mission and mandate of, of Twitter, this, this organization that has enabled public discourse in new and vital ways around the world. Uh, will that continue? In what form? So what, what is this brand here to do now? Musk says his Twitter is a home for free speech, but he suspended several accounts that use publicly available information to track the movements of his private jet. And several journalists who covered that story had their Twitter accounts suspended as well. Musk claims the accounts endanger his personal safety, but his platform continues to allow posts that threaten the safety of others. With the Anti-Defamation League noting, quote, both an increase in anti-Semitic content on the platform and a decrease in the moderation of anti-Semitic posts. This less regulated version of Twitter may be harder to make profitable as more major advertisers stop spending on the site. The moment that Twitter is in from an advertiser perspective is that there is tremendous risk involved with making a decision to continue to advertise there. With ad sales faltering, Twitter will have to find new ways to make money. If you want to have an open platform that's not moderated or lightly moderated, you're going to have to find a new revenue stream, say, charging users or finding other ways to create value for users that you can monetize, say, through financial payments. But it's going to have to rely on payment from the users, not payment from the advertisers. But how many users remain? In July, Twitter reported 237 million monetizable daily active users, 80 percent of whom were outside the United States. Globally, Twitter ranks 15th in popularity among social media outlets, with 436 million monthly active users, compared to Facebook's 2.9 billion, according to market research firm Statista. Some analysts say Musk's changes are the jumpstart Twitter needs. This is a company that has been slow in growing new users and slow in developing new revenue streams and slow on pursuing new markets for the future. If it had continued on that path, it's almost certain that uh, the business would be in perpetual decline. But can Musk replicate his success at other enterprises? What we're seeing in terms of Musk and how he manages and owns Twitter is not inconsistent with how he manages SpaceX and Tesla and his other businesses in that he has a very aggressive risk-taking management style. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on people and it, there's a certain kind of person who can handle working at that company. But it's clear that at his prior companies, Musk has accomplished a lot of amazing things that weren't thought possible, and we'll have to see if that's going to transpire at Twitter. Musk enters the new year continuing to cut costs, with the New York Times reporting that Twitter has stopped paying office rents and is considering cutting severances for laid-off workers. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.